Welcome back, as we now enter into episode 9. My characters have just hit level 5, except for Shadowheart. In the last episode, we basically killed some gnolls. We went to Walking's Rest, which was raided by the goblins. We didn't end up saving Counselor Floric, but that's okay. And we avoided combat with Gith Yankee that were on the roads, terrorizing the Flaming Fist. Don't. So I think this session we're actually going to head into the mountain pass. And this is completely new content. Because none of this was in early access. Now, the Underdark was in early access. But I'm going to hold off on going down here for now. I just came down here to try to get a little boost to level 5. And that I got. Fortunately, Shadowheart's a few experience points behind though. So let me just walk up here. Oh crap, I better be careful. This thing will shoot us down. Whatever comes. What can I kill this thing with? Okay, so bludgeoning vulnerability, even though it says resistance. But you can't get up there with bludgeoning. Hold on, let's try... Let's just shoot the damn thing. Oh no, it's already shooting me. Oh crap, there's no... Oh my gosh. There we go. Acolyte Shatter the Moon. Shadowheart is inspired. Oh, Shadow, love that, because that's a Temple of Saluna right there. And there we go, now she leveled up. Okay, great. That means we don't even have to go into the Underdark, so... Let's go ahead and return to camp. There is work to and get my party ready for the Mountain Pass. And also level everybody up to level 5. And we'll start with Wolf. Level 5 should be pretty simple for the Martial Classes. We get one more ranger spell. These are still... Oh, we got level 2 spells now. So I'm going to pick up Spike Growth. Remember, I have a pretty low wisdom. Spike Growth will be perfect. This will give my party a little bit of CC. Crowd Control. Yeah, I like that. Okay, great. We don't need to replace any spells. We have 49 HP now. And this is our champion fighter. And we now get extra attack. Beautiful. And then I think I'm going to take a Starion out of my party right now. But let's level him up. And rogues are this... Uncanny dodge. Use your lightning quick reflexes to protect yourself. When an attack hits you, you only take half the usual damage. And I do believe that that is a reaction that we'll have to toggle. Either always have it on or have it ask us or turn it off if we wanted to. I think that's how it works in D&D &D 5th edition. Okay, and for a level 5 Trickster Cleric, we have now unlocked level 3 spell slots. And destroy undead. When you successfully turn an undead creature, it also takes 4 to 24 radiant damage. So I haven't really been using Shadowheart's channel divinities yet. Too much, really haven't had the need for it. But we're going to have to start making sure we use those. And now we have Bestow Curse. Curse a creature with your touch. The curse either bestows disadvantage on checks and saving throws or attacks... Let's you deal additional damage to the target or robs it of its actions. We already know this spell though, but now it will be prepared at all times. And then we also get fear prepared at all times. Uh, these aren't channel divinities, these are just specific cleric subclass spells. We get fear. Project an image so frightening it makes targets drop everything and become fearful. So that's a new spell added to our spell list. We already had this one, but now we don't have to prepare it. And it doesn't really matter which one we choose here. Actually, it doesn't even let you choose because we get access to all of these spells now. Look at these spells. We're going to get Spirit Guardians. Revivify. Remove Curse. Animate Dead. Let's go. Beacon of Hope. Daylight. Feign Death. Glyph of Warding. Really good spell. And Mass Healing Word is, of course, very good as well. 
Okay, let's get Starion out of our group. Where are you, Astarion? Okay. And we're gonna pick up Gale because a level five wizard is quite powerful. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Uh, it's a... Okay, where is our wizard friend? Astarion is definitely open to embracing the more evil things that come our way. He's not as hesitant about that, so I might actually have Astarion be a core member of my group when I do my live stream evil run. Okay, Gale, where the heck are you? There you are, I can see your wizard hat from a mile away. Let me click on Helsin again real fast, hold on. To speak? Now there's still no option to have him join my party. And I just have no idea, is he just supposed to be a camp follower right now? Or did the game bug out and I'm supposed to be able to invite him to my group? I was assuming that I would be able to. Or maybe because he really wants me to go the Underdark route and I already walked into the mountain pass. Maybe that is preventing that, I'm not sure. I would have liked to have Helson in my group, I'm not going to lie. But it also makes it easier to... <laughs> if one of them I can't pick, the choice paralysis kind of goes away a little bit. Uh, Will's a badass too. Okay. Come here, gal. What's on your mind? Join me. Alright, great. Let me also do a save here. Hmm. Gotta call this right after our level five. Right after. Direct me. Okay, so here we go. Animate dead, we of course will be taking as a necromancy wizard, and our dead is going to be more powerful than a non-necromancy wizard. So we're going to take that. The target must be a medium or small corpse. Fireball wouldn't be bad to have. Fireball is definitely better with an evocation wizard. Because when you shoot it on the front lines, it won't hurt your friendlies. But without that special evocation feature, we will be doing friendly fire to our frontline damage dealers. Gaseous Form, that's a good spell. Vampiric Touch, nice necromancy spell, but it also requires melee range, which is going to be rare for Gal. And we can, of course, get plenty of these spells if we just find the scrolls. Unlock an object that is held shut by a mundane lock. I'm tempted to take knock just so we can try it. But since I can only learn two spells, I feel like I have to take fireball right now. I mean, how can you not take fireball? All right, fireball and animate dead it is. And that's it. We don't have to level up Will right now until we actually take him into our party. Let's head off to the mountain pass. It's quite exciting. Oh man, I forgot about Karlak. I want her in my group too. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take Lazel and dismiss Lazel. Champion fighters are boring. Speak. Chuck, you believe you can survive without me? Uh and let's go ahead and you know what? If we find the Get the Yankee Crash, I'll of course bring Lazel back. But for now, let's take Karlak into our group. Copper for your thoughts. Aces. And here we go. We defeated the paladins hunting Karlak. She joined our search for a cure for the parasite. We confronted the paladins chasing Karlak. She's joined our search for a cure for the parasite. In the current quest that we are on, find a way to Moonrise Towers. The dream visitor told us to go to Moonrise Towers. We might find answers there about our parasites. We learned that there are two ways to get there. Through the mountain pass or the underdark. And I'm choosing the mountain pass as of right now. The Dream Visitor told us that the true soul parasite can enhance us if we absorb its potential. And we're going to have to give up on the Night Song quest at the moment, because the Night Song quest is related to the Underdark. So let's head on out. I think the quickest way would probably be Joaquin's Rest.
And as a level 5 Barbarian, we get extra attack and also fast movement. Movement speed increased by 10 feet while not wearing heavy armor. I still got to keep an eye out for some good medium armor for her. I think we could probably get a higher armor class. I, we actually definitely can, because her dexterity is only 13. I guess I could check that right now. Do we have any good medium armor? Nope, we don't. Make sure we're putting all of our equipment to use. And let's head on out. We gotta go this way. This will be the first time ever that we are allowed to exit the map right here. And I think it's going to bring us to the same area that we explored for like five minutes back in episode six. Did I not do a long rest? I wasn't even paying attention. I care. Maybe I got hurt. I'm missing a little bit of HP here. Here we go. I am beyond excited right now. You're entering a different region. Venture forth, yes. Here we go. You know, I'm not entirely sure if this is Act 2 or if it's still part of Act 1, but either way. Let's check it out. Wow. Makes me so happy. I'm assuming that this is a Temple of Lathander. The Morning Lord. The God of Birth. Spring, dawn. We're going to want to use Animate Dead, too, as soon as we possibly can, because that is a spell that you use outside of combat. And actually, Shadowheart and Gale have it. So let's go ahead and prepare that right now. And you know what? I keep forgetting we can go like that with our... Hot bar. Okay, we're going to get rid of Witch Bolt. We'll take Animate Dead and of course also Fireball. I only have two level three spell slots. So I get one Fireball and one Animate Dead. Got Sleep, Thunder Wave, Mage Armor. Thunder Wave is such a good spell if you set up vertic- you take advantage of the game's verticality. Gotta always have magic missile. I can't believe I keep forgetting I have... Sh you know, shield is such a good spell. We just never had it in early access. And after playing early access for like a thousand hours, not being used to using it, I forget that it's even there. So let's enable shield. And I think we can probably get rid of... Let's get rid of shatter. And then I will take... Do, 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 do. Take Thunder Wave in case somebody gets in our face, and then Sleep, too. Sleep is a good spell. Beautiful. Okay. And then for Shadow Heart, I'm also going to take Animate Dead. We'll get rid of Shield of Faith, pick up Animate Dead. 
We have two level three spell slots. So let's go ahead and also take Spirit Guardians, I think is what I want. And we can get Shadowheart up on the front lines a little bit. She also gets Speak with Dead, nice. Fast Healing Word would be amazing to have, but I don't have enough spell slots to have it right now. So let's take Spirit Guardians. Call forth spirits to protect you. Nearby enemies take three to 24 rating damage or necrotic damage. And their movement speed is halved. Okay, so let's get rid of your wounds. We got Bless for our concentration spells. Perfect. You know what? I'm actually going to take Aid. Yeah, okay. I think that's pretty good. We'll cast that. And off we go to explore new territory. Let's be on my way. So when we peeked this area before, I think I saw some ghouls or some undead up here on the hill. Oh, you know what I could have done? I could have just <laughs> fast traveled to this waypoint. But you know what? It was it was cooler. The build up walking to the mountain pass and going through that entrance was worth it. Yeah, we have this weird creature up here. He looks pretty deadly. Oh no, careful, North careful guys. Rosy Morn Monastery, West Moonrise Towers, South Joaquin's Rest. Okay. Joaquin's Rest is that way. This way is Rosie Marin Monastery. North Rosie Morn Monastery. West oh, Don't see me. Towers, don't see me. South Joaquin's Rest. Okay. So actually, this way is Moonrise Towers, and this way is to the monastery. I think we have to check out whatever these creatures are right here. I think we got to do it. Undead Skeleton. I wish there were some bodies so I could animate some undead. You know what I'll do? Bring my group over this way. Let's see if there's any bodies around. I could actually... It actually would be smarter. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's be smart about this. Go back to Joaquin's Rest. The undead should stay with us until a long rest. Let's get ourselves a little army of the dead here. I don't know if she will get mad if we use Animate Dead, but we're going to do it anyways. Alright, so we'll test it out with Mr. Gale first. Here we go, Animate Dead. And we can do a Zombie, which are your melee damage dealers, or the Skeletons, which are ranged undead. Let's do a Zombie. Not sure how this is going to go here. Uh oh. Oh, do not touch my undead. Wow, look at that. 8 AC. 22 hit points. And then we have Slam. Hit a target with your bare fist and infect it with the Crawling Gnaw. If the affected entity dies before the infection wears off, it will temporarily rise again as a newborn zombie. That's how you kind of grow a little bit of an army. We can also do it with Shadowheart. Should I animate her friend right here? No, I'm not going to do that. No time for Danny. We're going to stick to how we're RP in here. And I will animate basically the... The goblins and the drow. Not the actual flaming fist. So let's go to animate dead. Where is it? And you know what? Just for the sake of testing things out, we'll do skeleton this time. Wait, target can't be reanimated. Okay. Well, who can I animate around here? You gotta be kidding me, man. I think I might have to do Flaming Fist. Jassic over here. Oh, we can get one of the guys over here. Oh, there we go. We can get a goblin. 
Here is our first skeleton. Unarmed strike and then also ranged attack. 5 to 19 with necrotic damage in there. Should have crawling gnaw in here too somewhere, you'd think. Okay, let's head back out. I think I can probably fast travel. Summons can't travel through waypoints. Okay, never mind. Oh, let's head out this way. Oh, they're, the flaming fist are following me. Run! Run! Oh no! Okay, we're good. Well, this is a hell of a party right here. This is awesome. Can skeletons climb ladders? We're gonna find out. Come on down, y'all. Bears? Yes, they can. Probably pretty good that they don't let you let the skeletons travel through waypoints, because then you could just fast travel to, like, Act 1. If you're even allowed to Act Hop. I'm not sure if this is actually Act 2. You just summon undead and then fast travel back. I like that they make it require a little bit of effort. Where are my skeletons? Come on, guys. Get your ass over here. Hopefully they come with me through this. Undead versus undead. Look at this picture of the city. It's so beautiful. Okay, we got our skellies. Let's go fight some undead. Boots have seen everything. But I want to fight them on grounds that I am familiar with. So probably try to kite them down here. We got a little bit of a choke point too. So... I'm going to take Carlac. I'm going to put her... Do, 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 do. The kite them. Maybe I'll, this might give me a high ground too. Maybe I can kite them all the way up to here. I want to put Carlac right... Right here. Let's try this way. Shadow, you're going to come up here with me. With your skeleton. Get you on the high ground. Perfect. Can your skeleton hide too? I love the lighting in this area. Skeletons can't hide. Okay. Then we'll take Mr. Gale. We're going to move you over here. Wait. Oh no, I got to be careful. What am I walking into up here? There's more blood up here. Okay, this is... I think this is where you get back to the goblin camp. Where I first came in to explore this area. Probably would be better to fight him up there, but you know what? Okay, perfect. And we're going to scout ahead with Wolf here. Separate my bear. I don't want my bear up here. We're going to leave the bear with Carlac. Oh, this is a heck of a setup right here. Let's go see what we can do. You know what I should do? I should use Blessing of the Trickster. Really start taking advantage of the spells in this game. It's an action, too. So grant another creature advantage on stealth checks. And it lasts until a long rest. Great. What's next, I wonder? Perfectly hidden. Let's not get caught off guard. And here we go. Might as well take a rotten carrot. On my way. Oh wow, we got some ghouls up here too. Dark vision. Poison resistance. Read this real fast, even though it's bugged out. 
poison damage is nullified. Okay, they don't have any vulnerabilities because you would see the little red arrow. Wow, they're resistant to like everything. All physical damage, acid, thunder, necrotic, fire, lightning. So not force though, or radiant. Okay, so radiant and force we want to focus on, which is what we can do. I have magic missile prepared. Hold on, are they resistant to... Did it say thunder? It did, okay. All right. Maybe I should stay crouched forever. All right, let's go into turn-based mode. And you know what I'm going to do? I am going to take a shot here. It would be it would be cooler if I could... Oh, man. There's no way. I... Nope, that's... I'm going to be, be spotted if I go up that way. Hold on. I would love to get a slash with my sword, but it's going to be really, really hard. Massive damage. Come on, come on. Where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? Okay, so he goes back. The other guy's going to come up. I can move so far with this character with Longstrider and Wood Elf and the ring that I have on. I should be able to get away from these guys, so I can even try. I can try something like this. Don't waste oh, 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 oh. Okay, here we go. I'm doing it. This is... This is crazy. This is freaking crazy. No! Was, was I in clear light? I thought it was dim... Oh, man. Okay, we gotta get the hell out of here. Oh, wow, this is bad. Not worried about an opportunity attack. Just get the hell out of there. Oh man, things are going wrong. Okay, let's see what happens. At least we get to see how many of these things there are. They're probably summoning them too. I didn't even think about that. Wow, these guys are cool. <laughs> His own ghoul has blocked him. Oh, that not that guy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Good thing is they're using dash, so they don't have an action. Actually might work out pretty good. It's keeping them all grouped up together. This is so much fun, fighting new enemies in this game. Oh, wow. What was that? Death Shepherd, reach from beyond. Defile a target with Merkel's decaying magic and chill them. The Merkel is one of the dead three. Cannot regain hit points. Undead. Okay, alright. So now we should be able to. Don't want to go too far. So let's go up here. And then I can also. Spike growth this area. Wait, hold on. You know what? I didn't even think about it. I'm a Hunter's Mark Hunter. And Spike Growth and Hunter's Mark are both concentration spells. So I think Spike Growth is going to have to be more situational when I really, really need it. I should have thought of that when I was leveling up him. But that's okay. It's still good to have like a backup spell for situational uses anyways. I'm not sure what other spells I would have preferred. I can always respec. Too far for Hunter's Mark. Let's see if I have any bottles of grease. I have a scroll of grease. And we'll do this. Perfect. Nope, Carlac failed her uh, stealth check right away. That's fine. I like how you can get rid of the combat log, but also still see it. 
the less invasive one. Alright, we gotta hold our ground here. Oh, these guys are lined up perfectly for exactly what I need. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna Hunter's Mark this guy. And take a shot, a range shot. These guys resistant to cold damage. Yep, cold, thunder, fire. Arrow of ice. Okay, we'll just take a regular shot. They're resistant to uh, piercing damage too. Okay, we're just going to take a regular shot. 40%, that's fine. And I might back up just a little bit. And now I think I'm going to bring in Gale. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then let's get Gale's skeleton. Oh, I guess he's in combat. Yep, right there, okay. Now we'll take Shadow Heart. We are in clear lighting right now. Let's see if I can get off a curse. Any good AoEs here? Not really. I'm gonna start off with Guiding Bolt. 91% but path is interrupted Looks like I'll be spotted if I do it right here possibly Can't tell if I'm in the red right there Let's give it a try see what happens Awesome 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 Okay Wolf, I need you to hold your ground. Oh, I didn't think they could get right up on that rock. I thought they were stuck in that little crevice. Man, we have like a, a gas too. There's ghouls and ghasts. Deathly Miasma grants the effect of any 20 temporary hit points. Allied undead are resistant to bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing. Curious what this guy's attacks are. A spirit guardians right here in the center. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Nice, he ran into the cloud of daggers. It's time to do a little wild magic rage. Oh, shadowy tendrils lash around you, sucking the life from all nearby creatures. Surrounded by tendrils of wild shadowy magic, gained 1d12 temporary hit points. And they're resistant to everything, it's crazy. Okay, so I need to get up close and personal with my hunter, but I don't want to do it right now. I'm gonna keep shooting at this guy, I guess. Could do a fire arrow and set that on fire. I don't think we're gonna be able to use crawling gnaw. 
on, on other undead because they're already undead. So I don't think we can get more undead out of this fight. Whoa! <laughs> they're all just slipping on the grease. I love it so much. What level? Are, I didn't even look at what level they are. Level six. Okay, Shadow. If I need to put you front line with Spirit Guardians, I will. But I don't think I want that just yet. Advantage against the effects of Turn Undead. So using my channel divinity with her isn't going to help too much. So Guiding Bolt level 1. Good focus fire here, but... I want this one because I got high ground, so we'll start chipping away at his health too. And it's radiant damage, so Shadow is the MVP right now. Trick to gain advantage on concentration saves against being charmed. You know what I didn't even think of? I can stop concentrating on Blessing of the Trickster and we can cast Bless. I'll do that next turn. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Destroyer. Okay, Mr. Gale, why don't you move up? Let's see what you got for me now. Might do another Clouded Daggers, but on both of these guys. Yeah, right in front of the Grease. Oh, that's beautiful. And then we'll back him up. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. He just he just picked that ghoul back up that I already killed. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, so the shepherds need to go down first. This guy's got 39, this guy's got 40. So let's focus on this guy first. Oh man, I didn't notice that. Reckless attack. Can't get to him, are you serious? Okay. Well, the good thing about them raising the dead is hopefully that costs them an action so they can't attack on that turn. This guy's got 12 HP. There's really nothing that... Oh, I didn't realize I have cleave. I switched to the axe. Nope, I can't get the big guy in it, so we're going to hold off on that. Come on, slip on the grease again. All right, let's go ahead and send... And jump my zombie right in front of this guy. My ranger hasn't been doing much right now, because I don't want to go front line yet. I would come over here and help out Karlak, but... I don't want to go on the grease with my ranger. Nice. still have Hunter's Mark on this guy. You know what I can do? We can throw. Didn't even think about that. I have low dex, but I have high strength, so we might as well throw weapons. And miss. Okay. Well, is that healing him when I hit him with necrotic damage? No, it shouldn't be. I think they're just resistant to necrotic damage. Oh. Oh, no. Just halved. Okay, we're good. All right, Shadow. I need another Guiding Bolt out of you, I think. What do you think about a level 3 Guiding Bolt? But then again, I won't be able to cast Spirit Guardian. So let's do level 2 Guiding Bolt. Disadvantage? Wait, how is that too dark? really dark in that area. Uh, 
There we go. I just had to move up, get within 40 feet because I have dark vision. All right, come on. We need this to land. I lost my high ground bonus, though. You gotta be kidding me right now. I forgot about Bless, too. Okay, Sacred Weapon. I guess I'll have you come down here. Try to prevent these guys from being able to leave that cloud of daggers. Mr. Gale. Why don't you go ahead and drop me a little magic missile action. And we'll do magic missile level 1. This guy only has 6 HP. Okay, let's watch this guy again. So here it is. The no rest for the wicked. Respawns the undead with 11 HP. But it does cost an action, so then he's not able to attack. Okay, it might be time to get up. I wish I could sneak right in there. I'm surprised that I can't. Okay, let's throw another weapon. I wonder if they can res each other. That would be a problem. If they can, I probably should start chipping away at them, like, equally. Okay, everybody's looking okay on my on my team for HP right now, so that's good. A lot of misses. Oh man, Karlak. Are you okay? She's got some condition on her right now. Paralyzed. Affected entity can't move or take actions, bonus actions or reactions. Attacks against the entity are always critical hits. Well, that's a problem. Need lesser restoration for that. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Instead of Bless, even though Bless would be amazing, we're going to start off with the Spirit Guardians right here because it should actually hit all of these enemies right here. The radius is quite large. We got Spirit Guardians Radiant or Necrotic, so we definitely want to do Radiant. Really? Can I not get a little bit closer? Oh yeah, that's great. I wish it was hitting that guy, though. Carlac's still doing pretty good. He's still raging, so she's taking half damage. Alright, Mr. Gale, what do we got here? 19 HP and then 39. So actually, I think I'm going to... We're going to start chipping away at this guy's HP. That was like no damage. Oh, I'm stupid. They're, they're resistant to force too. You gotta be kidding me. I just wasted a level 3 spell slot. Now those ghouls are gonna keep getting resurrected, but they're also right on top of the Cloud of Daggers and also the Spirit Guardian, so I might be okay. Alright, Karlak. Let me get, get- give me a little- give me a little cleave action here. Can you do that for me? My, my hunter, my frontline two-handed wielding hunter can't really do anything at the moment right now. Besides just throw weapons. I mean, I could jump behind. You know what I might do? Screw it. You only live once, right? Am I going to fall in the grease right there? Nope, I think I can make that jump. Let's do it. When it's time to kill, it's time to kill. Okay, we got a 60% chance. Hunter's Mark is active. You could drop this guy right now. Huh. Forgot about that. Fire sword around Greece. <laughs> okay. Alright. Fair enough. Fair enough, my friend. Oh, awesome. Actually worked out pretty good with that lacerate weapon skill. Half plate medium armor. That's going to be really good, I think, for Karlak.
Okay, we just got a few left now. Let's see if this guy ends up rezzing his friends. Alright, Mr. Zombie. Come on up here. Oh, I couldn't see that opportunity attack. Beautiful stuff. Gotta try to prevent this guy from healing right now. Hold on, let's see. Turn Undead's not gonna work right now. Well, actually... No, it can't. While the affected entity has temporary hit points, it's resistant to all damage except Radiant. And cannot be turned. But the temporary hit points are now gone. So let's go ahead and use Turn Undead. Effective entity must move away from the creature that turned it. It can't take actions, bonus actions, or reactions other than dash. That's actually really good because he won't be able to resurrect his buddies here. So let's see if we can get this to work. 30% chance. Wait, he does, does he still have temporary hit points? Is it immune to turn undead? Where do I see that he has temporary hit points active? Oh, I guess... Okay, okay. So it's saying Necrotic Veil here. Um... Is it represented somewhere, though? I thought, like, I thought because I already took HP away from him that I got rid of the temporary hit points, but I guess it does say Necrotic Veil on him, but it is what it is. Okay. You live and you learn, right? I don't think I can do anything. I can't see the undead in here. Oh, he's on is he on the ground? <laughs> Gotta get that guy to move a little bit anyways. My zombie died. Okay, Carlax turn. Oh, we could end this right now. Eight damage. Is it worth it? Nope, we'll take we'll finish him off with Wolf. Here we go. Only need four damage. I don't even need Hunter's Mark. Of course I missed. Unbelievable. I'm level five now. I keep forgetting that I have extra attack. Gonna take me a little bit to get into the habit of that. And we did it! Wow, that was crazy. That was quite fun. Let me call this. After fight first mountain pass ghouls. Let's see how much we got XP. Get out of the gas. I think I just can't see right now. My eyes aren't working. I can't find it. Either way. Let's go ahead and see if we can upgrade Karlak's armor. Let's see. Right now she has 11 AC. 
pretty bad. Get everybody down here. Hey, good looking. Okay, her AC should not be 11. I just noticed that. Unarmored defense. Your body is as resilient as any armor while not wearing armor. Hold on. Wow. It's a good thing I noticed that. It's a good thing I looked into that right now. So just putting on the leather helmet. Drop my AC down to 11. That is huge. That is horrible. I didn't even think about that one putting on a helm with a barbarian. I was just thinking of like the regular armor. Now with that said, when I put on medium armor, we don't need the constitution boost anymore. So watch this. So we have 14 AC right now. Put on half plate medium armor. Now we have 16 AC and I can put the helm back on too and still get the dexterity without it affecting me. So that's our new Carlac right now. We just went from 11 AC to 16 AC. Oh man. Okay, let's do some looting. Love the music. We'll just check up here again real fast. This is where we first came in. Back in episode six. Oops, I didn't mean to pick that up. Yep, and that brings us to the goblin camp. So let's go ahead and press on and let's see the area that they were guarding and what's up there. I really should rest again. Healing is a level two spell slot. Take two. This would be unfortunate if we got into another combat encounter. Take two. I'm out of spell slots with basically everybody but my main character for the most part. Light on my feet. Look at all these dead ghoul bodies. North, Rosy Morn Monastery. West, Moonrise Towers. South, Joaquin's Rest. Yeah, this is where they were guarding. Look, like I hear more ghouls right now. Scroll of Confusion. You funnel a group of creatures, causing them to attack at random, wander around aimlessly, and occasionally skip turns in the stupor. Okay. Can I learn that with Gale is my question. Wizard level too low. Hmm, what level spell is confusion? Can't wait to try that out. That's awesome. That's amazing. Wow. Just found plate armor. 18 armor class. Duke Ravengard is to be delivered, unharmed, or mostly so, immediately. Moonrise Towers cannot fulfill its destiny until the Duke has been delivered. Those who succeed will be rewarded. Those who fail will face first my wrath, then Gortash's, then mine again. General Ketherick Thorm. Grand Duke Ravengard. 
Seems Moonrise Towers has acquired a high value asset. Wow. Okay, let's put this plate armor on. Nineteen armor class. Pretty cool. I think I'm gonna have to dye it at some point though. Are you kidding me? It are you serious? The armor is on my wolf. No way. Also, my animal's got an HP increase. I'm not sure if that came at level 5 or what, but the wolf has 31 HP now. That is so sick. More plate armor. This is... Okay. Well, if you're playing a character that uses heavy armor, if you can come here and kill these level 6 ghouls at the start of the game, you're gonna wreck in the Act 1 area. Looking ahead. Never wanted the easy path. Oh, you know what that sound is? It's my skeleton. This is... This is unbelievable. This is so beautiful. Ah. I can't even explain to you guys with words right now how excited, how, how freaking excited I am right now. But Act 1 was a great time. I enjoyed playing it, but I've been playing Act 1 for three years. And I still don't know if this is Act 2 or not yet. This could still be Act 1, but at least that part of Act 1 I've been playing for three years. This is completely new, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's see what the camp looks like here. Maybe we'll go back to the river camp. I'm not entirely sure. I'm at a loss for words right now. You must have questions. Never seen this camp before, that's for sure. I can't believe I'm actually venturing into a Gith stronghold again, voluntarily. This had better pay off. I'll admit it, this could be a terrible idea, but we don't have much choice. True. We're acting out of desperation. Let's just be careful. Any potential cure is useless if our heads are parted from our shoulders beforehand. They must want that artifact back badly if they're dispatching red dragons in pursuit of it. But we cannot afford to lose it. I wish I'd never been sent on this mission. I'm curious about that myself. You'll have to live with that curiosity for now, I'm afraid. Let's just concentrate on ridding ourselves of these tadpoles. All will be revealed in due time, I hope. You seemed intrigued when Helsin mentioned Dark Justiciers before. Wouldn't you be in my place? If there's even the slightest chance that Shah worshippers remain within our reach, we should try and find them. Even if they're all long gone, and that seems quite likely from what we know, who knows what they may have left behind for us to use? My people are nothing if not resourceful. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a Dark Justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, 
her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the... Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. We've already had that dialogue, so no sense in going through it again. Interesting, though. Look at this camp, though. This is this is crazy. I, I wish I was live streaming this right now for the first time. So we could all experience it together in a live setting. But this is this is something else. I'm going to talk to all the companions. How can I help? I was wondering about that mighty lord you told me about in your story. Ah, yes. Carsus. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable. To be mistaken. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel. And with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral. The end of Carsus and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more. An event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. So I did an entire lore video on the Netherese Empire and also included Carsus's folly in it. So if you guys search Wolfheart FPS Netherese should pop right up for you. It's on my lore playlist. So at that moment in time, all magic was gone. For a spell, Mistral was reborn as Mistra. Upon her return, the weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. I tried to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. If you ever feel the Netherese magic overtaking you, what will you do? If it should ever come to that, if I ever know I am no longer able to stop it, I will do anything I can to ensure no one but me pays for my mistakes. I will find the remotest place on the surface of Faerun, or perhaps far below in the depths of the Underdark. I will await that death alone. I promise I will not betray your trust. You kept me by your side despite the menace that I am. If worse comes to worst, I will be long gone before the curtain falls. Well, hello. What can I do for you? What do you think is waiting for us at Moonrise Towers, Astaria? Who knows? Drow? Mind flayers? Death? Hopefully not ours. But maybe answers. If we can convince the right people to talk. Ah, my... Good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I don't want him to help me. Man, look at my wolf with the heavy armor. That's amazing. What happens if I... Cool. Maybe it was just a level 5 upgrade for the animal companions. Oh, you know why? I just thought of it. So your animal companions, I think, power up when your proficiency bonus goes up. And your proficiency bonus goes up at character's level 
our character levels 5 and 9. I think the animal companions just become more stronger. Maybe they start putting on armor. Had nothing to do with my plate armor, I don't think. Oh wait, that was 17. We want 18. There we go. 19 armor class. Without any boost. Okay, let's check out what's up here. We got Helsin and Will, and then Withers. You wish to speak? Helsin doesn't want to join me as a companion. Hells! All the Raven Gods been taken! Shit, shit, shit! You need to understand. Duke Raven God is my oh. father. No way. There's been some theories going around out there that Will was the son of Alder Ravengar, the Grand Duke of the city, but now it is confirmed that that is actually true. And why didn't you tell me this before? Because our relation was no matter of pride, not least for him. I was close to him once, until he disowned me and cast me out of Baldur's Gate. But my heart still aches to think he's been taken by these cultists. That name, Gortash. I know of him. A so-called military advisor to the Baldur's Gate elite. A weapons dealer, in cruder terms. We must rescue Father from Moonrise. He is a powerful man. The most beloved duke in Baldur's Gate. Should the absolute cultists infect him, there's no telling the damage he might do when he's returned to the city. There must be more to this disownment story. There is. And you know why I can't tell you. My lips are quite literally sealed. Okay. We'll retrieve your father from Moonrise. Courage and confidence. You would have made a fine son to my father. Me? Well, I've never been able to escape my father's name. Try as I might. My story is one of two men. The Blade of Frontiers. A man hunting the fiends who prey on the weak and claw at the coast. And Will Ravenguard. A memory of a memory. A man who belongs to the past. I wanted you to know the Blade, not the shadow he left behind. What was it like being the son of a Grand Duke? Not so enchanting as you'd think. The poor tears, the cold wells, they were the blue bloods hosting the fancy balls and drinking from gold goblets. Fathers, the son of a blacksmith, born with barely a coin in the coffers. He made a name for himself among the flaming fist, brave as Balderan, stubborn as a deep rofe, daring, outspoken, but hardly posh. I spent more time dueling with father than I did rubbing elbows with lords. Not to say I didn't develop a taste for good wine and the talent for courtly dance. Willis turned out to be one of the most interesting characters. In early access, he really wasn't that great. Then we can get Will to dance. And now you're the Blade of Frontiers. Quite a change, don't you think? Yes. And no. Uh, father taught me the four pillars of power. Courage, insight, strategy, justice. He reckoned I'd follow in his footsteps. First as a fist marshal, then as a duke. Vanquish evil, maintain order, save the world. But a duke makes bedfellows with more monsters than he slays. Father called it diplomacy. I called it hypocrisy. In the frontiers, there is no posturing, no diplomacy. I slay monsters. I don't consort with them. Even if I might look like one. Interesting. Because in the lore, Alder Ravenguard is a great leader. And actually in this game too. So I was trying to wonder why he would have, you know, disowned Will. And I was starting to suspect that there's more to Will than what he's telling us. And maybe Will isn't really this great of a person. But now it's starting to make sense. Will didn't like his father doing what needed to be done, or didn't need to be done, to rule the city. Fate spins along, 
has it. Dost thou require a new ally? Okay, I think we're good right now. Look at that. Yeah, this is, uh, we're in a Lathander area. The Morning Lord. We have some beautiful statuettes around here. And this is a really cool camp. I'm not sure if this is like a mini camp or if this is like our new official camp or what. I mean, we have tents set up and everything, so. But I think this will probably be a great halfway point for this episode. So go get yourself something to eat, something to drink, and I'll see you back here later on. All right, let's press on further into the mountain pass. I feel like at some point we're going to have to bring Lazel into our group here because we're probably getting close to the Githyanki crash. And actually, I am going to dismiss Karlak and just take Lazel now just because Lazel might be able to spot things. Soldier? Oh, come on. You don't mean that. Oh, fine. You must have qu- It is done. Okay, let's head on out. We got an update on Will's quest. We discovered that Grand Duke Ravengard is not only an important figurehead in the city of Baldur's Gate, he is also Will's father. I want to live here. Plenty of food in this game. Okay, so where do we want to go first? Follow the mountain pass. Say we keep going down this road right here. Actually, we can go around this way. if I can get up here. Aw, oh, man. That was a nice little lookout point. Yeah, we're definitely going to be going there at some point. That's for sure. It looks like there's a zip line right there. Broken. We need to find another way. In the way of dawn, for the thunder cannot protect you where the light doth not reach. I don't see much light down here. No way. No freaking way. That's Elminster. One of the most famous wizards and most powerful wizards in all of Faerun. And it doesn't say Elminster. But I think it is. Level 1 Construct. He's got the Alert Feet. Empowered Evocation. Spell Sniper. Oh, we gotta go check this out. Oh, 
<laughs> Who there, wanderer? Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. I think some proper introductions are in order. Meet Elminster Ormar. A good friend of mine, but rather more significantly, he's the most famed and respected wizard in the realms. Am I indeed? Most famed and respected errand boy, more like. <laughs> I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gale. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Waterdeep washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you won't begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get, get out with it. For Elminster, absolutely. I'm actually reading the first Elminster book right now. I've read all of the Legend of Drift series. Well, not all. Most of the Legend of Drift series. And I just started the Elminster series. And Elminster is also in the original Baldur's Gate games. Pretty crazy to be seeing him in a game like this. In 2023. I suppose we could part with a few of our rations. And a great kindness that would be. See, Gale? Even in these barren parts, the art of hospitality begets inspired new works. If only one keeps up the practice. Oh, for the love of... <laughs> uh, well, this way, then. Hmm. To your camp. Oh, don't dawdle now, lad. You're the one who's in such a frightful hurry. Oh, nigh on 13 centuries old and he still thinks with his stomach. We'd best follow and see if he's more disposed to speak plainly once it's stopped its grumbling. <laughs> okay, we'll meet him in camp later. Let him have his rest and repast in the meantime. Actually, I can't. Never mind. I have to go back to camp. This is Elminster. Very well. I suppose I'm as curious as you are to hear what he has to say. A wise choice. Better to indulge your curiosity than Elminster's appetite. Mm, yes, what a delightful wedge of old Elthurian that was. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest. After all, a good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savoured so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Uh, right. Um, you see, I, um, well, that is to say, Gail, my boy. I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. You were sent here as an actual divine messenger? Oh, Mistra's delicate feet are ill-suited for the hardships of the road. You know where you went wrong, Gale. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra would consider... forgiveness? She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Mistra is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the Absolute. 
That most insidious of evils. You wouldn't happen to know of a cure, would you? Some all-powerful, parasite-withering spell, perhaps? Alas, a creature that afflicts you, the ill-begotten magic that it weaves is inextricably conjoined with both the greater purpose and the greater master that it serves. You must know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief that only you can. They want to self-sacrifice. I'm calling it right now. I think they want Gal the self-sacrifice. To infiltrate the Absolute and then let the Nether East bomb explode. Could be wrong. Gal alone. How so? The old. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help. Or hindrance. We shall have to see. You must find the heart of the Absolute. Whatever that may be. And use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will Burn it from this world. <laughs> win win. Say what you will, Elminster, but you can't force Gale to go through with this. No, indeed. But I think she trusts me too. It brings me. No pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the Absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistra's promise. With hmm. that, I've said my sorry piece. I need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. I think I gotta take myself out of fanboy mode right now and make sure that I'm RP in my character who might not have heard of Elminster before. Hmm. This is interesting. But honestly, I don't know if I would just go along with it right away, especially if I didn't know Elminster. I think I would stay. There's still a long journey ahead. We'll find another way. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the sky-strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, an ocean born in lonely hours. Come, ebb, come, flow. Come, all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. 
Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. How oh, do we get to see him teleport away? That was incredible. I, I can't believe that we just came across Elminster. I'm like blown away right now. And what an incredible lead up to Gal's story here. Okay, let's go right away and talk to him. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. He didn't seem much of a friend showing up and demanding you to kill yourself. It's not a demand he wanted to make of me. As mistress chosen, he had no choice but to deliver her message. However much it pained him to do so. For Mistra to have sent him. The severity of her bidding could not be clearer. Or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. That was pretty deep. You're seriously considering doing what Elminster said? Of course. We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted. The absolute will be gone. And I along with it. I don't understand. Can't Mistra just destroy the Absolute or Elminster himself? I've no doubt she has the power to do so, but as for the permission, Ao would not look kindly on her meddling in mortal affairs. Divine intervention has a tendency to make things worse, not better. As for Elminster, he saved the realms more times than legend can recount. But to take on a god is no easy feat, even for him. My orb is the best chance we have. And only I can wield it. So that's it? You're on a suicide mission now? Possibly the most spectacular one ever conceived. But essentially, yes. I'm living on borrowed time in more ways than one. Perhaps. Perhaps this is how it must be. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. I'll make sure we find it, Gail. I promise. Then I suppose there is nothing more to be done but find the heart of the Absolute and stop its beating. Turn up the voice volume a little bit. Also, we're going to create a save file that says Elminster after, so we know to come before it if we want to revisit that scene one day. Now we just need to see Drist and I'll be happy. A shame my first brush with the famed Elminster couldn't be a tad more optimistic. Listen. I might invoke the Triad from time to time, appeal to Helm, but I'm no man of faith, not like Gale. I don't know what drives a man to consider his own death, among countless others, to be an appropriate exchange for his goddess's forgiveness. To me, it all sounds like nonsense. The faith that matters most is that which you hold in yourself, in the ones that most matter to you. Big Bomb be damned! Gale's got everything he needs to defeat the Absolute already. Talent, nerve, and powerful allies at his side. I hope he'll come to see that. I guess we gotta let's see if he has anything to say about Elminster. Fate, dost thou require? A... Of course he doesn't. Stupid skeleton. You wish to speak? You have nothing to say to me, Elson starting to not like you anymore. I can't believe Mistress demanding Gale sacrifice himself to destroy the Absolute. It's just a waste of a perfectly good cult that we could be controlling. 
And a waste of a perfectly good gale, I suppose. Oh, I wish there was an interaction between Volo and Elminster, because they know each other quite well. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. Oh, was that Gale's granddad? That was Elminster, the most famous wizard in the realms. <sighs> it doesn't ring a bell. But all right. Must have had something important to say to Gale if he came all this way. Good news, I hope. I don't think it was. It turns out Gale has an explosive bomb in his chest, and Mistra has asked him to use it to blow up the heart of the Absolute. <laughs> Whoa, now. He's got a... Well, I guess that would explain a little, but... Mistra? <laughs> I mean, this is a lot to take in. What's he going to do? I think he's going to follow through with it. <laughs> Fuck me. There's devotion and then there's stupidity. If the god of magic can't handle this without sacrificing Gale, she's no god at all. <sighs> Poor Gale. He must be in bits after hearing that. <sighs> I'll distract him. Tell him I haven't read a book since secondary school. Watch his face melt off. <laughs> okay. Talk to uh, Shadow. I feel like I gotta... I like how the companions always have something to say. About the ongoing events. I can't believe Mistra actually expects Gale to just... Sacrifice himself like that. Seems like a waste of a fine mind. Even if they're quick, short responses. I like that. Elminster. Even the Githyanki have heard tell of the Sage of Shadowdale. Some of his works have been translated to Tisu. That doesn't mean his every word carries wisdom, however. Near as I can tell, Mistra demands Gale's faith, but holds no faith in him. Why else would she demand Gale sacrifice himself, and perhaps so many others? Does she not think he can destroy the Absolute with his own immense talents? Does she not know the mighty company that he keeps? Demanding Vlakith may be, but she acts for the good of the Githyanki people. Mistress concerned only for herself. Bah. Perhaps he'd find forgiveness in a fiery death. But I can't help but wonder why he'd want it at all. Always an interesting take out of Lazelle. You know what would be funny is if I turn Lazelle into a bard. I have to do that sometime. Okay, let's continue on in our adventures. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Do a partial rest. You know what was really interesting about that Elminster scene was that the Guardian chimed in in our head. Basically wasn't necessarily against Elminster's help. I'm still kind of just... I still can't believe that we just walked up on Elminster. Yeah, this is getting into... We're getting into some... Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, we might not be ready for this yet. But let's check it out. You're about to progress your adventure. Make sure to tie up any loose ends. Maybe I shouldn't click on that. Okay, we're going to hold off on clicking that. And actually, what I'm going to... Oh, no! Oh, I thought I... Jeez, I thought I just went into it. I will come back and click on it after this session's over, just so I can peek the next area, because I'm probably going to write, like, an initial review for this game. Because I'm still playing before anybody else has access to it. This is the review code. Shadow Curse lands. Interesting. Okay. 
We gotta find a waypoint here somewhere. Okay, so I don't think I can use. Oh yeah, let's try to do some animate dead. Probably an evil thing to do, but that's okay. Not my character that's doing it, right? I'm gonna do two zombies because I want to try to get like an army of zombies with me. I like how my sword's actually not on fire right now. I'm going to leave it that way. Can't slow down. I'm sure it'll go back here shortly, but... Whoa, 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 Oh my god. Are you serious? We have repulsion mines right here. To be doing this with shadow, but whatever. Are you serious? <laughs> they don't do any damage, though. Okay, we gotta be real careful walking around here. There's another one right here. Rosy Morn Monastery, West Moonrise Towers. Okay, so we probably got to go through the Shadow Curse Lands to get to Moonrise Towers. I'm blown away by this area right now. This is, this is amazing, and this is, I mean, of course, this is new content for me. This is definitely my favorite session, perhaps ever, actually. This is up there with the first time that I went to the Underdark in Early Access. I'm so confused as to like what is Act 1 and what's Act 2. Because technically I do actually think this is Act 1 because you can either go the Underdark or go the Mountain Pass and the Underdark is still part of Act 1, so... Approach the fairy in Lathander's grace. May his gaze shine upon you, pilgrim. Man, I really hope that Larian fixes up all the bugs that we've been experiencing. Because this is... This game is special. A cable car, okay. Before we t let's click it. Might not be the time. Oh wow, it's a strength check. I picked the right character. Oh, that was tough. This can't have been used in a while. So it looks like if you weren't able to get past that, you can make your way there on the ground right here. It's probably a bit more dangerous. And before I get in it, let's just quickly run up here to the west. This is the way down. Okay. Ooh, let me check this chest. Something tells me there's going to be a trap here. Nice. Potion of greater healing. I wanted to just check out what's up here. Wait, is this where I came from? Wait, hold on. 
Okay, never mind. Back this way. Either go down or take the cart. So we're going to take the cart. I'm hearing like a some type of a bear or something somewhere. Yeah, look at Fern with her armor. Wonder, I wonder if I have to do another strength check. Wow. Never a dull moment. Rosie Morn Monastery. All right, instead of going back and trying that path, we're just going to skip it. And then when I play through again, I'll make sure to take that path. I really like this biome. Makes me want to go out in nature. So how do I get down here? Okay. Keep it down, Mr. Zombie. North Rosie Morn Monastery. You know what? This area actually hasn't been. The Act 1 area had more bugs. We haven't really experienced that many in this area. Just surprising. So when I play on Tactician, we're going to have to really, really make sure that we're crafting all the potions that we can craft. Making sure we're wearing the best gear at all times. And there's a nice waypoint. Awesome. Okay. So instead of going through the front door... Larian gives you options. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. We saw a screenshot. We saw a screenshot of this. Larian posted a screenshot of this area with Gale back in the game's promotion a few months ago. Okay, magic allergy. Allergic to magic. If a spell or cantrip is cast close to the Gramishka, it might react to the magic and trigger a random effect. Oh man, okay. These are level one creatures. Okay, well at least at least I have my martial classes up front here. Start off with a bless.
Looks like we got some new animal attacks too. We'll have to take a look at the bear after this. Oh man. Oh, I get. Wow. So I guess the spiritual weapon is what made that magic allergy go off. All right, Lazel, can you get in here? Took an opportunity attack. Don't take this. Look at this temple. Temple of Lathander. It's beautiful. Gotta make sure I'm not forgetting my extra attack. Trust me, I know everybody's gonna call me out for every mistake I make anyways. Should I do this? Let's do it again. Let's see what happens. Let's do it again. Okay. Let me, let me read that again. The Spell or Cantrip is cast close to the Gremishka, so that means if you target one, it might react to the magic and trigger a random effect. Okay, so it's RNG. The witching hour. Damn, there's a lot of these little things. Wish I could get my zombies in there. Dang it. A little bit nervous one of these is going to explode. Little things are everywhere. There they go. <laughs> Unstable. Like a everybody seems to be doing okay. There we go. Look, we got yay! Now we got another zombie. Our undead army is starting. Oh man, that thing's gonna blow up. Okay, I'm actually gonna, I wanna get nine. I wonder if that will work. Hold on, I'm gonna attack the other creature. Then instead go. of killing them, I'm gonna skip my turn. I'm gonna skip Gale's turn. And into the zombie's turn now.
see if we can get that gnawing or gnaw or crawling gnaw. Perfect. Oh my god. Look how much undead I have here. That took the edge off. What are they taking damage from? Nice, we can actually use these tails. Am I standing in something right now? Newborn zombie. What path lies before me? What is doing that? Oh, maybe the maybe the crawling gnaw. There's resistance. Dang it, they're gone. I can't even check. Yeah, so this guy is not suffering that, or this guy. So these might be the original zombies. I'm not sure. I didn't mess with this too much in early access because I was kind of burnt out when we got access to this. Okay, so newborn zombie zombies born from the crawling gnaw cannot last they take one necrotic damage each turn and only follow the zombie that infected them okay now it makes sense I don't know if that was in early access Let me save this as oh I guess I guess that's a good name okay let's check this place out breathing despite everything so we went in on the upper floor here oh didn't mean to do that wow I gotta organize my inventory at the end of this session I'm gonna spend some time and try to figure that out Like we have an iron gate right here, huh? My faith will guide me. No more thieves tools in my group. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Wizard's Bane Oil. Coach your weapon in oil. Its targets receive minus three penalty to spell attack rolls and spell save DC and disadvantage on saving throws for maintaining concentration. Interesting. My blade's no longer burning. Still getting the fire damage though, so I should be. I'm okay with that actually. Well, that ends not as bad as it could have. Oh no! Stinking cloud, haste, and then conjure minor elemental. Ooh! Organized by type here. Oh yeah, so you can... I forget. We can select multiple items now. To grab all the scrolls. And then send... The gale. Perfect. Now let's go to gale. Go in his inventory. My character kind of looks like gale. I keep getting their pictures mixed up. The so scroll of Conjure Elemental. I don't know what spell that is. Yeah, it's, we're too low to learn that. So I might actually hang on to that. We can learn Detect Thoughts, though, for 100 gold. It's quite expensive. Scroll of Haste for 150 gold. Yeah, I learned Haste. And necromancy spells would cost me half. 
because I'm a necromancy wizard. Now, here's another thing I wanted to check out. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's level six that I'll get. I think I get the boost. If I recall my information correctly, I think level six is when Gale's necromancy feature comes in that makes my undead summons more powerful. And they'll be more powerful than Shadow Hearts. You have my attention. Interesting. It looks like there's just a million places you can go here. All right, everybody, watch out. Record of complaints. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Humiliation suits you. Somebody's in the other room. Oh, look, we're getting a recipe for potion of animal speaking. Essence of acorn truffle and salts of rogue's morsel. I think I already have that, don't I? Animal speaking, yep. Nice. The bear has honeyed paws. Lash out with paws sticky from honey and disarm your target. If it isn't holding any weapons, it falls prone. That's incredible. I love it. You know what? The Beastmaster's starting to really come in. It just felt pretty weak the first five levels, but now it feels a little bit cooler. And I think level nine is when we get our next Beastmaster upgrade, I believe. This mountain pass is really cool. It like almost gives like a jungle vibe. What's that? No! I'll never remember to get a shovel. I'm telling you guys right now, I am never gonna remember to get one. Wow, look at this. This is where we would have came in. It's glorious. Where is everybody, though? Enchanted door. Vulnerable to force. Radiant resistant. Vulnerable to fire, even though it says resistant. Necrotic resistant, piercing resistant, slashing vulnerability. This makes me a little nervous. This is an enchanted door. Permanent guardian of faith. Oh my gosh, I'm surprised that Larian actually lets us see in here. Usually got Fog of War. What is this creature? When an entity enters your attack range, you can strike them. So it's, yeah, so it's guarding something right now. Creature can't be disarmed. Strike back at the next enemy that attacks you. 60 HP, it's a level 7 construct. Only level 5 right now. Flashing damage against this entity is doubled. A miracle cast by a cleric of immense power. The stalwart divine guardian attacks nearby enemies. How do I get it open, though?
Whoa. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh no, dude. Oh. Oh wow. I did not expect it to, to come up to that. I'm definitely leaving and coming back with, with my character. Oh, I guess now it's Lazelle's turn. Everybody came up. Nope, everybody leave. Everybody leave. Whoa. Mother! <laughs> the plucked one. It speaks to me. Help! I'm not going to hurt you. I just wanted to say hello. What a terrible idea. Get away. Hmm. Wonder if I screwed that scene up by not going up with my ranger first. Hmm, okay. We're gonna have to come back to that. That was super cool. I love these little interactions with nature. Owl bear. I don't want to startle them though. My ranger knows better. Okay, what the heck do we have here? Stained glass window. Dawn master for Saeed. Dawn Master Welkin Glory. Ceremonial Longsword. Dawn Master Seed. Dawn Master Stockhold. I wonder if you have to line these up the right way or something. Problem is, I can't tell the difference between this guy and this guy. They look the same. This guy's got a two-handed sword. This guy's carrying some triangle. This looks like a tiefling. And this guy, I don't know. Um, do we try it? Alright, let's go ahead and back everybody out of the room. I guess the f I have no idea what this even is right now, but the first thing... Oh no, this is already lined up. The sword guy is with the sword. The monastery's notable keepers adorn these intricate panels. Why it looks so small? Oh, we failed the religion check. I should have had Gale do this. Okay, examine the image marked Dawn Master Seed. The reconsecration of the monastery conducted by Dawn Master Seed. Look at the picture of the Dawn Master Stockhold. Even song before the Zenith Day, celebrated by Dawn Master Stockhold. Dawn Master Vasaid wielding. The rest of the inscription and picture has shattered away. Okay, I think I know what we got to do. Dawn Master Welking Glory. Dawn Master Welking Glory beckons forth the rising sun in Lathander's name. Okay, so I'm thinking. Uh, first, I thought we were going to be turning this. I think we got to find items that represent each one of these guys. And it looks like the sword is already placed here to give us a clue. So as we explore the temple, no, not sure, but the monastery's notable keepers adore the reconsecration of the monastery conducted by Dawn Master Seed. Even song before the Zenith Day, celebrated by Dawn Master Stockhold. Dawn Master Welkin Glory beckons Dawn Master Vasaid wielding. The rest of the inscription and picture. Okay. 
So, not sure if that's what you do, but I think that probably is what you do. Kind of curious what happens if I touch this, though. Oh, no. I don't know if I should. But I just can't resist. The weapon stopped glowing. How odd. Okay. So yeah. Just got to keep an eye out for uh, certain items, I think, as we explore here. Just take note of every item we pick up. All right, what now? I'm not even sure what that's going to do. Is it going to open up this for... That doesn't look like that. I'm not sure what it's going to do. What I wanted to do, actually, though, was come see if I could get through here. That was my original plan. It looks like I can. And now I can see this Guardian of the Faith. Oh, man. Okay. Alright, F5, in case we TPK. Probably in TPK territory now. I think we have to send in my wolf first, or the bear first. What summons are for? Or the zombie. Let's send in the zombie first. Oh, man. Um, do I do it? Oh, this is... I'm gonna instantly die. I know it. <laughs> okay. At least we can test out. We're gonna. <laughs> I wonder if this guy can come through the window. All right, my turn. A rough tempest I will raise. See what we can do here. I feel like this dude's gonna be like. He doesn't have any immunities. If you knock out this entity or flee from combat, it may harbor some resentment towards you, but it will not remain hostile. Okay. Let's start off with a magic missile level one okay it takes damage just fine oh I forgot to prepare guiding bolt back dang I don't have any good spells now for range guiding bolt is everything for the cleric high defense 30% Attempt to descend Lazel in. I want to see what this guy does, though, on the first round. 25% so hard to hit ranged attacks. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, he took some damage from that, though. I think he leaves me no choice. Creature can't be disarmed, so... Alright. I think he's doing AoE damage or something around him. Man, this is so much fun, having these new combat encounters to try to figure out. I'm going in. You only live once. I don't have... mean. Oh, I used my bonus action, that's why. Okay. Well, in that case, let's throw a weapon. Path is interrupted. Back up a little bit. Oh, 
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Am I missing somebody in combat here? No, I don't think so. Just a bear and a zombie. Right? Oh my god. Right when you walk in, you just take... And he's dead. He's gone, though. Okay. The good thing I had zombies to test that out. I'm not sure if that's like a D&D &D thing, but if any of you guys are watching that are D&D &D players, have you ran into spells like that before? Question is, what is he guarding? The door is still enchanted. I wonder if I can actually do damage to it now. Oh my gosh, I just picked up Ceremonial Battle Axe. Okay, perfect. That's one of our items that we needed. That's what he was guarding. Scroll of Banishment. It's crazy. I still want to go back and see what those eagles were all about. What did I just do? Drop it on top of me? Oh, I keep getting knocked down. That's the way to do it. So I think we're doing that right right now. Monastery's notable keeper, Dawnmaster Vasaid, wielding the rest of the inscription and picture oh, he was, has shattered away. He was wielding the axe, okay. Where to go now? There's so much to explore here. We're only on the top floor, too. Where are my companions going? Wow, they're taking the long path. Holy crap. All right, hold on. Let's... Looking ahead. Freaking huge, man. I feel like the eagles might have like a weapon or something. They gotta be guarding something, right? You would think. You can see these little... Hmm, okay. Let's go up by myself. Wish I had wild shape right now. Mr. Bear! No! You know what? Let's bring a raven with me. Bird to bird. Look at the armor. That is so cool. 21 HP. Rend vision, of course. Bad omen. Hurl one of your feathers at a target to mark its curse. Mark it as cursed. Attack rolls against the affected entity have advantage. Wow. I'm starting to enjoy the Beastmaster. Okay. 
Do I have speak with animals active? Oh, nice. We got the scene again, I think. Intruder! In my nest! This area was meant to be safe! Xavier, get behind mummy! <laughs> Come on. No, I'm using an inspiration point. We got this. Come on. Come on, game. Come on. Yes. Uh, fine. Xavier. Xavier. Don't talk to it. It might have germs. <laughs> Still alive. So that's progress. We do. We have a ceremonial warhammer right here. Wow, look at this. This is a freaking telescope or something. What the heck is that? You can pass, but you're not to talk to me. Gross. <laughs> that was great. All right, so this is obviously going to piss off the eagle. Um, 62 HP. <laughs> Don't want to fight the eagle. Oh, shite. Okay. Well, it is what it is. I was wondering if that was going to happen. Damn. Okay. This is going to be tough. You know what I can do? I can do non-lethal blows at the end, though, if I need to. What is that? Okay. What was that? Getting a little nervous here, not going to lie. Not gonna lie. 30% for the feather. Bad omen. Oh man, this is gonna be interesting. I put on non-lethal attacks. Okay, so it's still alive. I feel feel much much better. Ah. This creature's allies will appear next turn to defend it. Are you kidding me? Oh shit, okay. Okay. That's not good. Not good at all. Torment. That is not good. Oh damn. That's not good either. Right, 
Okay, we're doing pretty good. Getting into the extra attack rhythm. Where are these other targets, though? I could... You know what I could do, actually? That screeching is bound to bring more of them down on us. Oh, great. I'll tell you what we're going to do here. I will tell you what we're going to do. Shit, shit, shit. No, 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 no. Okay, we got a major problem. We got a major problem. I have an idea, though. They still got non-lethal on. How many of these freaking eagles do we have? What level are they? They're level four. Okay, so that tells me that we're not insanely... I wonder what level this guy was. Level five? It's like we're at the right level for this area. I don't want to leave behind. We have Gale and also Shadow way down there. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. charm animal that be used in combat I'm gonna have to look up charm animal leave the zombie on the front line things can move so far oh great shit 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 that's not good I think I can kill them my initial plan was though I think I'm gonna have to wow my initial plan was to flee because I'm okay with it. It's kind of like I didn't mean to disturb the eagle's nest. So I'm just grabbing my thing and getting the hell out of there. But the flee plan is looking like it's not going to work anymore because this is pretty bad right here. It might work still. Would this actually work? Would a void ball pull eagles that are flying? I don't know if it would. Possibly pull in nearby objects and creatures. Okay.
Hey, great job, Dire Raven. Disadvantage on attack rolls, range attacks, spells reduce to 10 feet. Attacks against blinded creatures have advantage. I am fury. I am death. Run from the eagles, run. I know I can win that fight now, but I'm sticking with my original. But I can flee now. I wonder if they would come down here. Let's go ahead and flee. Okay. I speak, they burn. First time testing this out in the full release. You know, I'm so tempted to do something really crazy right here. I'm so tempted to do something right now. Shadowheart's turn is not until the next round, which is scary. Okay, I'm not going to do what I th the crazy thing that I was going to do. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I was going to push Shadowheart over the edge right here. And just revive her. I mean, we haven't even used the revive scroll yet. Still have some. Okay. Try to get these zombies to pull aggro a little bit. Come on, fly to the zombie. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Cool. This actually worked out. Now the Raven will fight to the death. <laughs> oh, man. Bird versus bird. That is such a cool spell right there. No! They're eating me alive. I might take these on with my raven. Holy crap, and you know what? With my Raven, I think I'm okay with uh, not being able to turn on passive. Let's go! Oh, and he's gone just like that. Okay, all right. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Okay, so we got everyone back here. Am I encumbered right now? No, I'm not. So let's um, let's end the day. Take a little nap. And it worked out. That is crazy. I'm ready. I think that was a really cool way to RP fleeing right there. Instead of just fleeing because you're scared of combat, like legit fleeing because I'm a ranger of the wild and I didn't mean to upset the eagles. Let's call him the boar this time. Nice. Tusk attack. Boar charge. That would be frightening. Never a dull moment. 
Come back, Mr. Boar. Don't waste a step. Okay, which one was the Warhammer? Oh, Lazelle picked it up. Oh, wait, why didn't that? Oh, it did. Okay. Still breathing, despite everything. Okay, we only need one more. You know, this episode is running really long, but I feel like I can't end it right now. We got to just go for it. I don't necessarily have to explore this entire place this episode, but we got to try to find the other... We're so close to finishing that little puzzle. heck is that is that something okay so we're looking for one more I don't know what that's gonna be but let's um let's go downstairs I don't know how to get down there though or we could go back on the roof I'm lost I am quite lost now. I could jump down from right here. There's gotta be a way in. Down. I wonder if the eagles are still on the roof or if I could go back up there. Okay, this looks like a way we can get down without killing ourselves. Question is, how am I going to be able to get back up? Okay, all right. Well, let's do. Uh, let's do it. Is that blood? No, never mind. Oh, whoa! whoa careful, 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 folks. Oh my gosh, it's cornballs. Oh, this is great. They're all drunk too. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. This is... Man. So far, entering into these new areas, this has been uh, one of my favorite gaming experiences this year, this session. Look at these little things, man. Fire wine belly. Drunk on fire wine have disadvantage on charisma and dexterity checks. The drunk entity is killed with fire. An explosion occurs. You leave me no choice. My pleasure. There we go. Oh no! Oh damn it! So my pl oh man, my plan was gonna be to aggro them all on the boar over here. I had, I had, and then I was gonna do a fireball. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Everybody's just doing stealth checks. 
You still in stealth? Nope, everybody's in except Shadow. I have to survive this. Do 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 What did I do with a candle? A little bit nervous with him standing right there. But screw it, let's stay front line. See what these things can do. Taking off passive non lethal damage. of my sword. sacrificed himself that was awesome can't slow down that was awesome halfway to level six question is is there any weapon in here that I do not know Hey, Shadow, what's up? Oh, no, don't go back up to Ludicobold. Damn, there's a lot of fire in here. Okay, we'll go this way. I don't think there's... I don't see anything. There's a Cobalt Inventor right here, though. Maybe I should loot that guy. You know, I'll just have my ranger loot Elven because I do have fire resistance, so it's not a big deal. Could use create water too, but... And there it is. Good thing I did this. So who's that actually on? Okay. I actually seriously was about to walk out and not loot these guys. I never would have freaking found the thing. Okay, so question is how do we get back to the top now? Just noticed that. Okay. Ah ha. Aha. Get a five. A freaking pouch this better be good 
to the next Dawn Star. I don't think we're going to make it, but the blood is secure. We closed it off with magic. Only one of our own can take it. If anyone else tries, the walls will fall, and they won't get out of here alive. Should that happen, pray for Rosymore and Monastery, but do not mourn. It's for the best. In death, new life always. The blood is secure. We closed it off with magic. Only one of our own can take it. If anyone else tries, the walls will fall. This blood sounds important. Could it still be here somewhere? And the Dawn Master's Crest. We found an oddly shaped crest that belonged to a high priest of Lathander. Perhaps it can help us find the blood of Lathander. Okay. Monastery's notable keepers adorn. Okay. Well, I think we've probably done half of the temple now. This episode is running quite long, but I was having just such a great time. This is such a cool area. This gets me really, really excited for the city and also Worms Crossing Bridge in Rivington. And interestingly enough, there wasn't hardly any bugs in this new area. It's been mostly in Act 1 that we've been experiencing those bugs. But thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this Let's Play series up to now. Very rarely do I do content like this. And I'll catch you on the next one.